Good morning and Merry Christmas to you all. Welcome to our Christmas service. Sit back, enjoy. We hope that you just worship along with us and enjoy as we celebrate God with us. God bless you. Not so long ago, in a balm in Bethlehem, God became flesh and blood in infant son. Jesus Christ, God with us, was born into a family and woven into the fabric of humanity. His family tree is full of colourful characters, just like our own families. Some are beautiful and some are broken, yet all these branches were used to bring us to the moment when heaven touched earth and began to stitch us to the story. Each generation declares to the next the wonders of God at Christmas. Each one of us can be woven into God's family tree and know this Jesus, Son of Man, Son of God. Come and join the tradition and hear this story again.
in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, it says, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. In chapter 9, verse 6, it says, For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. When I read these scriptures, I think about the sign that Isaiah talked about. He said that the virgin would conceive and bear a son. But Isaiah went on to say, Unto us a child is born, and a son is given. What's the difference? Why didn't he just say a child was born? Because yes, a child is born, but Jesus was the son of God. And the son that was given was for our sins. He was given to die on the cross for us. So Christmas is not just about the gifts that we get at Christmas or the fact that baby Jesus was born. Yes, he was born as a child, but he was born to die. He was born the son that was given for our sins on the cross one day. So as we think about Christmas, you know, I thought about that song that we always sing, the parches in the pear tree, and it talks about the 12 gifts of Christmas. And if you add all of that up, it would be thousands when you think about how much it would cost for the parches in the pear tree, how much it would cost for the maids singing and the men dancing. But when you add all that up, you won't have that, that amount of money could still not buy the the gift that we have on Christmas. It's not about the gifts, but it's about that gift. It's about that gift that came from above and he came, he came to die. He was born in Bethlehem. He was born in a place where shepherds had sheep and these sheep that they raised, they raised them to die in the temple. They were actually raised in Bethlehem. They had to be grazed all year long outside. They had to be without spots, without wrinkles, without any blemishes. And they were, they were taken special places in Bethlehem where those sheep would actually um, have, their, have their babies. And when they were born, they would swaddle them up to stop them from having any blemishes on them. And the same place, it's not a coincidence that Jesus was born in Bethlehem. When the shepherds heard Heard that, the, that a saviour was born, the angel said the sign is a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes. That meant something to them. It meant to them that the same way that they swaddled these lambs that were born to die, they were going to see a lamb that was born to die swaddled in a manger. And there was our Jesus laid in a manger and the shepherds worshipped him. So we just want you to know today that that gift of Jesus is your gift today. Don't let Christmas be about the gifts under the tree but let it be about the Son of God who was born in a manger. A child was born, but a son was given. God bless you.
Greetings, brethren and friends on this uh, digital platform. And can I begin by saying a Merry Christmas to you all. It is my prayer and wish that you have a blessed and peaceful Christmas under the circumstances. And I know it has been a very difficult time for most, if not all of us, especially this year, 2020, due to the COVID pandemic. The lockdowns that we've all had to endure has been particularly challenging for many of us, and especially our seniors and elders, and perhaps even children too. These are indeed unprecedented times and coping with the uncertainties we face has not been easy. I do want to commend us, however, for staying strong, staying safe, keeping our integrity and maintaining a positive outlook and hope for a brighter future. And I want to say that this optimism, I believe personally, by God's grace, will not go unrewarded. We have lost, I know, loved ones and friends during this time. And the impact of COVID-19 and all the government restrictions has not made it easy for us to grieve let alone support what our loved ones as we would like to. That in itself has been very painful, I know. And so this Christmas may seem a very somber affair for some, but I wanna say even so, we pray that somehow you will experience the comfort that is the comfort of the Lord and the peace that he gives at this Christmas time. The hope is that we will be able to understand things and put our lives in context and perspective. One writer says, true understanding comes from God it's a gift only God can give. I'd like for us to think about that for a moment because I feel that this is a very profound statement that is being made here. Understanding, that is true understanding, comes from God. It's a gift that He alone is able to give. And so as we enter into this season of Advent, we are reminded that Jesus came as the hope of mankind, and we are entrusted to bring this message to our generation. We have been given this task to bring this message of hope to this, our generation. At the birth of Jesus, the angels declared, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings, or I bring you good news of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. What a message! So the story says, Jesus came in the midst of a crisis and a pandemic of death. He was locked down in a manger with his parents, Mary and Joseph, because there was no home or civil space for them. And then they were quarantined in Egypt until it was safe for them to return to their homeland. 
Therefore, the Bible goes on to say, Jesus understands, yes. He understands every weakness of ours because he himself was tempted or exposed in every way, just as we are. But yet he was without sin. Let us therefore be confident to look to Jesus and to go to the throne of grace where we can find help, comfort, and have peace in our time of need. And so the angels declare, I bring you good news of great joy. Yes, a message of hope. For when Christ was born, babies were being slaughtered in a vain attempt to kill off any hope of a redeemer and a liberator king. The killing of innocent, uh, innocent lives was accompanied by great sorrow and pain. Many families suffered anguish of losing loved ones. Many families, mothers, fathers, grandparents have lost loved ones to various crimes like today. Natural causes, through the natural causes, and even to the coronavirus. Let me say, you may have suffered physically, emotionally, and even psychologically, and it may seem like you may never recover, but I have news for you today. Good news, may I say. Don't despair. You can recover. For God says, fear not, I bring you good news. That is for you and all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. This is the message of hope and comfort that we bring. Do not be afraid for I bring you good news of great joy. A savior, Christ the Lord is born to you in the city of David. It's time for joy. And in the Greek uh, rendering of this word, it means celebration and salvation for all people whom God's favor rests upon. And I want to say that the favor of God rests upon you. For God loves you, God loves us. He commended his love towards us in that the scripture says, whilst we were yet in our sins, Christ, the Son of God came and he died for us. And so the prophet declares, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. In other words, the responsibility for your salvation and future rest with him and him alone. And his name, therefore, will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. These characteristics and attributes only rest with him, only belong to him. He alone fits that bill. And he alone provides for our every need. This is the good news and the message of hope that we bring today to all who will receive it. To you is born in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. So this Christmas, in the midst of all the upheaval, in the midst of all the sadness, in the midst of all that may be happening, to challenge your joy, your hope, and your peace. I want to reassure you that the message of hope is for you today, that you have a Savior who is Christ the Lord, because the favor of God rests upon you. And so, I conclude by saying, may the peace of God, 
and his goodwill be extended to you this Christmas and throughout the new year. God bless you. Amen.
Merry Christmas! What a time to be alive. It's been a difficult season, but I hope you enjoy this festive period. Joyeux Noël tout le monde. J'espère qu'on passe un bon temps. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful time. Feliz Navidad! It is a real season of uh, joy and blessings from the Lord. And it is a season to recognize that Jesus Christ was born. Merry Christmas, everyone. Indeed, a time to celebrate the, the birth of Jesus Christ. Um, and I hope you take this time to rest, um, to focus, and have some real quality family time. So Merry Christmas from the Clark family. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Bye! Merry we love day. you! Adios! Season's greeting to all our church family. Um, this year has been a, a year of trial, uncertainty, confusion, fear, so many negatives. But out of that negative, we know that this is a time for us where we remember the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ and we give God thanks for his son. Merry Christmas, brethren. We love you, we miss you, and we pray that you guys stay well and um, enjoy <clears throat> the festive season. See you next year. Bye. Se Merry Christmas. Season greeting. Bye bye. Merry Christmas, everybody. And a happy new year. Hip hip. Christmas! Hip hip. Christmas! Hip hip. Christmas! I love it. Oh gosh. I love it. Hi, everybody. This is Joy and Stanley. Wishing you a. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Love you all. See you Bye. all soon. We have. Love you all. Bye. Caesar's greetings. The word became flesh and dwell among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory of the holy begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. We, we wish, wish you all, all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Season's greetings to all. Hi, Merry Christmas, everybody. I want to give a special Christmas greetings to you all. Um, special greetings, Christmas greetings to Bishop Bill and Sister Margaret, all our ministers, all our church family and friends. It's just a lovely to be able to say Christmas greetings to you all. 2020 has been a really interesting year, but God has still been good to all of us. Um, and I just want to say Merry Christmas um, and just enjoy the season. One of my favourite Christmas choruses is Christ came to earth. He was born in the manger. Glory to God, he was born for a purpose. He is today the highest, he is today the greatest, he is today the mighty giver of our salvation. So as we celebrate, we understand the real reason for the Christmas season, that Christ came bringing salvation to mankind. And so I just want you to enjoy your Christmas, have great fun and fellowship with your family and your friends. God bless you all, love you very much, miss you all so much, God bless. I'd like to greet the brethren in the name of Jesus and wishing everyone a happy Christmas and happy new year. I must, um, wish everyone also a happy Christmas and just, you know, to be grateful to the Lord um, despite the year that we've had. We've all suffered a bad year, but it's good to be reminded and to know that Jesus is the reason for the season. So happy Christmas to you all from the Howe family. Happy Christmas. God bless. Merry Christmas to the church. I wish you all a very happy, Merry Christmas and a happy new year. God bless you. Merry Christmas to everyone. Lord bless you and we are continuing to pray for each other. This is from the Gregory's family. Blessing. We, we wish, wish you a Merry Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> and a Happy New Year. To the ministerial body, members of the church and friends, on behalf of the Webley family, we extend warm Christian greetings. Christmas for us is also a time of reflection, remembering our loved ones who have gone on before us. 
Let us continue to pray one for another as we enjoy quality time with our families. Sunday will now read a card which was sent by Brother Bruce Baker. To all the saints at Kettle Road, with best wishes for Christmas and the New Year, I always thank my God for you all. God bless Bruce. Saints of God, have a lovely Christmas. Eat, drink and be merry. Stay safe and God bless you. We love God you bless. all. Bye bye now. We hope this season brings unlimited joy. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry birthday is Jesus. Jesus Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. Merry Christmas and have a good 2021. From the Chung family, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> Tis the season to be jolly. Tra la 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 la. You know the noise? No, no, no. Oh, no, stop. to you and of course bishop and sister market again and your extended family a very happy christmas brethren a happy, happy christmas, christmas to you brethren we love you we love you and we miss you mm. happy christmas happy that's christmas. all i've got to say <laughs> that's all i've got to say happy christmas yeah, and reserve that this time yeah <laughs> man merry christmas and a happy new year Christmas greetings, blessings on you all. I pray that you have a great Christmas season this time. I know it's hard, difficult, but God is in everything. May you all enjoy a wonderful, wonderful season. Do not forget the reason for the season. In your rejoicing, in your preparation, remember, it can be today or tomorrow when our Lord shall come. Be ready for him, brethren. Don't, don't let this world and the things that are therein cause you not to be ready. And while you enjoy the atmosphere of the season, remember that the reason for the season is because he came to give us life. God bless you. I love you all. Be strong. Meet you in eternity. God bless you. Greetings to our brethren and friends. Thank God that he's allowed us to see another Christmas. We just want to wish you the joy of the Lord this Christmas and may his peace be with you throughout the coming year. And so this is Margaret and I, from our house to your house, wishing you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Glad tidings we bring to you and your King. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year thank you so much for joining us on our christmas service today hope you enjoyed yourself god bless you enjoy your family and have a blessed day merry christmas <laughs>